Hey guys, it's Brandon with Seller.Tools and I want to continue talking about the API and this time I want to talk about the sandbox. Now, in order to play around with the sandbox, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's it's where you go to test things out, okay? So you're going to need just something to test. So here I have an API key, I have an example order, and then I also have uh, an ASIN that I can go ahead and play around with. Now, the sandbox is located inside your, your Seller.Tools account on the left-hand side and this is essentially what it looks like. And as you can see, this is, right now, this is everything that you can do uh, inside of the API. And of course, we're gonna continue to add more to it. Uh, but let's go ahead and just play around. So the first thing is you're gonna need your key. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that out. And I'm going to click authorize. Now, what this will do is authorize the sandbox to access your, um, your seller tools account. So I'm gonna do authorize and I'm good. So uh, next I am going to, let's go ahead and play around. Let's go ahead and grab this order ID. Now. Again, when I say you play around, so when you begin to build things out, let's say you're doing something in ManyChat and it just doesn't seem to be working, you're doing something click funnels, or you're doing something with, with a Shopify store and it's just not giving out a coupon for whatever reason, uh, you can jump in here and, and kind of test it first to see what the heck is going on, okay? So it's the same thing as doing it on those main websites, but this is like the sandbox where you get to play around. So for instance, uh, get orders by ID. It's exactly what it sounds like. So uh, let's say you're working with ManyChat and you want to see if an item has been shipped or if it's pending or maybe even if they canceled the order. You know, you may want to know in real time if they cancel it. So maybe you want to check once a day uh, after someone places an order to see if it's canceled. And if it is canceled, you can go ahead and follow up with that person. Very, very, very powerful. So we're going to go ahead and do is try it out. And all you have to do is punch an order, a order ID and hit execute. And as you can see, this is everything that there is about this particular order. Uh, you know, the order, the address, the name, uh, the ship date, you know, everything that you want to know about this order is right here. Okay. And then from there, you can manipulate and get this data and do whatever you want with it. Again, it's your imagination is the only thing holding you back here. So we know that two things is one is this order ID is a legitimate order ID. My authorized API key is working and I am getting the information in front of me. I mean, this person paid $7.99 uh, for this item. So we could do something like maybe if they used a 90% off coupon and they only paid a dollar for it, we may not want to offer them another coupon because they already received a coupon. If that makes sense, we may want to offer them a different coupon or maybe not offer them anything at all because we know that maybe they came from, um, maybe they came from last launch. So we don't want to offer them a coupon later on. Okay. Uh, so that's one test. Let's do another test with this like ASIN. So ASIN, you can grab, grab an ASIN. It doesn't matter what ASIN it is. And we'll go ahead and test that one. So uh, products get product by ASIN. I can go ahead and try it out and punch in the ASIN, execute. And this is going to go out and get everything. So it looks like this is BG climbing glasses for rock climbing. So it's everything you want to know about the product, the weight, the height, the, the, the length, uh, if it's an adult product, etc. It's all right here. And you can do this or run this against any ASIN uh, that's on side Amazon, whether it's yours or someone else's, um, does not matter. So as you can see, this is where you start playing around the sandbox to testing it to make sure things are working. Um, the only thing I would say be careful of is something like posting a fulfillment order because it will indeed post a fulfillment order. And I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and make another uh, video on and show you how to cancel that. Um, but that will go ahead and post that order. So um, it will send it to Amazon and it will process. So you wanna get in there and cancel it before it ships out. And I know MCF is a little slow shipping out. So it should give you a couple days to cancel it. Um, and again, we will continue to add more things uh, to this list. You know, getting a coupon code, uh, giving out a coupon code or a promotion code um, and send many chat. So you can all do it here to make sure it works inside the sandbox. And once you're satisfied, you know exactly uh, what you're calling, refer back to documentation and you can really start understanding of how powerful this really is. So hopefully that makes sense. And if you guys have any questions, of course, let us know. Um, but we're heading in an amazing direction, guys. And, and jump into the sandbox, play around with it. It's a lot of fun. All right. Thanks, guys.